go. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy David back with another video. Y'all already know what we're doing on this channel, man. And today I'm bringing y'all a new video to the channel that's gonna basically kind of be like a part two to spiritually fit. But this is a video that's really gonna be tailored to how to really jumpstart your 2024 and make this year the best year possible for you. Not only physically, mentally, but also spiritually. And if you're not spiritual, then hey, best year physically and mentally. So, but it's gotta start off with your mental first. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. And let's get started. Now I plan to title this video, get out of the driver's seat. So if I do title it that, that'll make a lot of sense. But because of that, I was supposed to do this video from here in my car because this would have went well with my analogy for today's point during the video. But right now it is freezing cold in Denver. Like I'm talking like below 10 degrees. So we're not about to do this. We're gonna do this right here. here inside where it's warm and I ain't gotta be worrying about wearing a whole coat and all that. So. All right, man, so let's get into this video. So I tweeted this tweet back in like December of like 2022 um, and I'm gonna put it on the screen or whatever. My Twitter got hacked, so I don't really use Twitter like that. I just use threads if you wanna follow me on there because uh, I just be dropping gems, just whatever the Holy Spirit tells me or whatever I got on my mind, I just drop on there. So follow me if you, you're interested. But I made this tweet and I'm gonna read it real quick for y'all. I'm gonna put it on the screen too. But basically the first part, it was a two part tweet. So the first part was, you know, you are in the front passenger seat of the vehicle or your life, and God is the driver. Let me read that again. You are in the front passenger seat of your life or the vehicle, whatever, and God is the driver. God is in the driver's seat. He's driving your life. He is directing your life, right? Stop sitting in the back seat. This is part two. Stop sitting in the back seat of your own vehicle, of your life, and letting others think that they have a right to even be in the front seat. So I'm, I'm going to say that second part again too. Stop sitting in the back seat of your own life. Stop sitting in the back. Stop looking at life, your own life, from someone else's viewpoint, from someone else's perspective of what they're telling you from what they're seeing in the front seat of your life as if they have a right to be there, right? So basically, I found that tweet very powerful. I found that it was something very powerful at the time when I tweeted it, as well as right now. That's why I wanted to bring it kind of as the topic to kickstart 2024 and to be a part of this video where I really try and, you know, um, give y'all motivation and give y'all kind of a word to help y'all, you know, attack 2024 and attack this year better than you have in the years before. You know, everybody, you know, they do their New Year's resolution in 2024. I want to kind of put my own twist on it and make it a little different and, and kind of help you not only, you know, have the best year physically and mentally, but also have a really good year spiritually as well. Pastor Mike has said, um, you know, this will be your best year yet if it's your best year spiritually. So I, I, I humbly believe that and I wholeheartedly believe that myself. And I want to bring that to y'all as well um, through this platform. So we're going to dive into that today. So just diving a little bit more on that tweet, you know, God is in the driver's seat of your life. A lot of times, you know, we want to be in that driver's seat. We want to be dictating, you know, where we're going, where, um, you know, what we want to see, what sightseeing, who, who we want to meet, things like that. But really... God is in that driver's seat. God is the person that needs to be in that driver's seat. God is the person you need to have in your life that is directing you to where you need to go. Because ultimately, he knows where your life's journey should be going. He's already planned and mapped out your life before you were formed in your mother's womb, right? So because of that, you need to allow him to have control, have control of the vehicle, have control of your life. So that way, you don't end up, you know, in these terrible situation you don't end up lost right because you don't know where you're supposed to go you might end up somewhere that you're totally not supposed to be because you wanted to take control you wanted to be in that driver's seat you wanted to um go to this place you wanted to see these people and things like that but that has been has taken you totally off course and an hour or two or whatever we want to say we're continuing with this analogy of being in a car but off track from what your true destination is your purpose and what god intended your life to be and when you allow god to take control of your life and be that driver of your life and directing you where you go you will see the world in a different light especially if you're in that passenger seat we're going to get to the second part of the tweet in a little bit but when you're in that passenger seat you have the same viewpoint as the driver in a way or let me not say that so you have the best viewpoint outside of the driver 
in the car. No one else has as better of a view, better of a view than you do in the car. You have the front windshield, you have the side mirrors, you have or side windows, you have all of that. So you can see everything that's happening. You can see where we're going, you can see, you know, the sightseeing. So you can see you have the best seat in the house to see everything that God has for you. And that is where you want to be. You want to be in that front seat or in that front passenger seat, right? So the second part of the tweet, I talked about how stop sitting in the back seat of your life. Stop allowing others to dictate and make you feel like, you know, you're not doing enough. That you that you don't know what you're doing with your own life. That they know what's best for you better than what God does. And that you should view your life through their lens or through what their perspective of what you should be doing at this time in your life. A lot of people have, you know, these um, preconceived notions of like, you should have, you know, a house by this time, you should have kids by this time, you should have a successful business by this time, you should be making X amount of money by this time. But who are they to be saying what your life should be like? Who, who are they to have any say so in your life, right? You are who God called you to be and who God says you are, not who they say you are. So you got to walk with that chip on your shoulder. Like, and I'll say this for myself, for me personally, you know, 2024 has been, it's been going. It, 2023 has literally like all the stuff that was balling up in 2024 or 2023 at the end has just continued to roll into 2024. But one thing that, you know, I had to realize and that God, you know, said to me and the Holy Spirit spoke to me was just like, you are who I say you are. And like, I had to remember I am who God says I am. I'm not who all these other people in, in my ear and all that are saying that I'm supposed to be or that I'm not living up to, things like that. So I had to, you know, I had to wake up and, you know, had to shake them off a little bit. So I want you to walk around with that chip on your shoulder as well. Walk around like you are God's child. You are who he says you are, right? And the journey of your life is meant to be experienced from the front seat, not from the back seat. What did we say? So the front seat has, or the front passenger seat has the best seat in the house to see everything. When you sit in the back seat of your own life, you're missing the best view. You're missing all, yeah, you can lean over a little bit. You know, you can adjust where you're seeing and try and see through somebody else's like out of that lens through, you know, the two seats that are in front of you are through someone else's lens, but you're only getting a partial view of what, God has for you, where God is taking you when you're sitting in that back seat. So get out of the back seat of your life and get in that front seat and start enjoying what God has for you. But you got to let him take control and be in that driver's seat. I hope this analogy, you know, speaks to y'all. And I hope that, you know, it, it, it speaks clearly to y'all and y'all kind of understanding and getting what I'm putting down. Now, I don't want to make this video super long because I want you to hear this video, hear this message, reflect on it and start taking action to making 2024 year your best year. I want you to get a prayer time with God and actually figure out what he has planned for you this year. But I have a few more points that I'm going to make and then I'm going to send you on your way. So like I was saying, you know, God's vision for your life um, is bigger than anything you can imagine. Ephesians 3.20 says, I'm going to read it right here. Now, all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. And some translations will say even imagine, right? So God's vision for your life is better than anything that you can think for yourself or imagine for yourself. So why not let him take control and why not see what he has for you, what he has in store for you? And another thing I thought about the other day, you know, when it comes to, you know, your tithings, right? It's the first of whatever, whatever comes to you, whatever God gives you, whatever God gives you with, you give him the first of that. So the first of the year I started thinking about, it, I was like, you know, when it comes to, you know, this whole tithing, why not in the same, you know, analogy of that, why not give God the first of your year, right? So we talked about in, in that 2023 video of how to make 2023 your best year. I talked about vision boards, right? And about how you need to get in um, communion, how you need to get in, you know, prayer time and um, reflection and um, kind of just a peaceful moment and meditation with God and, and really hear his voice and, and bring to him, you know, bring to him your vision board, bring to him what you you know, think you want to, you know, have done this year, but bring it to God and, and allow him to really speak to you through the Holy Spirit and really, you know, 
you know, re rearrange some things on your vision board and give you fresh vision and fresh, um, you know, insight for your year 2024, right? So he can he can really direct your path to where you want to go. So the, the last thing I'll say with that, you know, again, I already said, you know, you want to make this year your best year, not only spiritually, but also physically and mentally. We're going to talk about the physical and mental. Y'all already know what this channel is about. So I'm going to give y'all a lot more of that, you know, this year, of course, we're going to have the gym videos. We're going to have, you know, the put you on game videos and things like that. But I'm also going to try and bring y'all more spiritual videos like this spiritually fit. So the last thing I'm going to say here is, you know, and I thought about this earlier today is that starting is not the problem. Starting is never really the problem every single year. Everybody comes up with their new year's resolutions. Everybody, you know, starts off with like on January 1st, as if it's some grand day, like January 1st, everything has changed from December 31st, but it's just another day. But everybody on this January 1st, everyone in January or the beginning of the year starts off, you know, starts off with their new diet, starts off with, you know, this new plan of action, you know, this, this, this fresh uh, motivation for what they want to get done this year, right? And that, it's all great, you know, people are going to the gym, things like that, you know, gyms are packed out, things like that. But what happens around shoot sometimes even march but I, i'll give some people some leeway and like sometimes by by june what happens people have fallen off people are not as dedicated to their goals that they've had they haven't accomplished some of the things that they said they were going to accomplish you know by that time things like that just people just tend to lose momentum and they tend to just completely <clears throat> people tend to lose momentum and they tend to ple like completely give up right so one thing I want to give you just as this last piece of advice, you know, before we end the video is, you know, I want you to focus on being consistent this year. I don't want you, one thing I, I want you to play with, and again, you know, this is just advice from me personally, but you know, you're free to do whatever you want, but I want you to not try and pack out this year with a whole bunch of stuff. Go through this year with focus and intentionality. Go with the, the mindset of you're going to be consistent with what you say you're going to do. You're going to hone in and focus on this one thing, whether it's, you know, eating healthy or whether it's, you know, going to the gym, whatever it may be, create some type of goal that is around the realm of consistency and something that's not going to be something that's, you know, super hard for you to do super challenging we talked about having those like baby steps that lead up to the bigger step but this year i really want you to focus on consistency i want you to focus on if it's you know i'll give a few examples not to make this video super long again but like let's say it's something about going to the gym like you want to be consistent and start going to the gym and start living this healthy lifestyle right if that's the case then i really want you don't start out super hard and like going like you know I don't know, five days a week or whatever it is, if you're a person that just hasn't been in the gym, focus on really just being consistent and saying that you're gonna always go to the gym at least four, four to five times out of the week. Just make that, make a commitment to yourself that you are going to do what you said you're gonna do. Whether that is, you know, cause life's gonna get hard. Things are gonna get in the way. You know, you're gonna have, you know, your kids might get in the way. You might have work that gets in the way. You might have, life just might be throwing a whole lot of stuff at you, but you gotta make this commitment to yourself that you are gonna not let yourself down and that you are gonna finish what you started. So whatever you're fin wherever you're starting right here, now in this month of January, I want you to be doing the same thing by the time December comes. And I promise you, if you stay consistent for a whole year, you know how much, you know how much could change, how much you could accomplish if you stayed consistent with a goal that you set out right now all the way to December. There is that is literally 365 days. That is a whole lot of time. I don't know the math of how many hours that is. I ain't about to do all that. Y'all can do that if y'all want. But that is so much time that you could dedicate to a goal and you could change just the trajectory of your life. If you just stay consistent, you stay consistent with your prayer goals of just, you know, reading your Bible, you know, at least like 10 minutes a day or so. Don't don't try and, and go too fast. Walk at a steady pace. If, if you, you know, if you're familiar with the Bible or whatever, like Jesus wasn't running for a man that only had 33 years on this earth. And he had only really three years of, of preaching, you know, the kingdom of God. 
he wasn't running all over the place. A lot of us would be like, oh, man, I got I to gotta get everything of this done. We would have been running all over the place because, you know, that was the time. They didn't have cars or anything like that. You, I mean, the only thing we ever saw Jesus ride or hear Jesus riding was a donkey. And a donkey don't even run. So this man, Jesus, even walked, but he was a steady going place. Like, if you read the gospel, you'll hear that, you know, Jesus was here, and then he was going here. He was here, and then he was going here. He was constantly moving at a steady pace of going where his father was leading him. And that's how I want you to really approach this year. It's not trying to, you know, speed fast past this and, and run at a, at a, a super fast speed, because that's not sustainable. That's not going to help you get to the end of December and still be on track with your goal or doing what you said you were going to do. Walk at a steady pace and try to be consistent with whatever you set out to do, whether it's a physical goal, a mental goal, a spiritual goal, whatever it is. I just want you to stay consistent and stay focused and walk with intention when it comes to it. And that's what you should also bring when you're doing your vision board for this year. Y'all see my vision boards right there in the corner because I'm working on them myself. I'm um, taking this kind of like first month of the year to really dive in and, and spend some time with God and fasting and things like that to really understand what he wants me to do this year. So I encourage you to do the same. But again, this is my advice to you. But that's enough talking. I want y'all to reflect on this, you know, message and, you know, go back and take action and do whatever you got to do. If you're spiritual, you know, get in spirit, get in some, some prayer time with God. If you're not, you know, just get some time of, of meditation and, and just reflecting and self-reflection. But that's all I got for y'all, man. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comment section what y'all want to see from me this year. We got a lot planned this year. I'm hoping to bring y'all, you know, just some fresh collabs some some traveling blogs things like that just a whole lot of stuff you know that you know i find that y'all can benefit from and that this you know channel can benefit from so can't wait till that but till next time don't forget to like comment share subscribe and we out man stay prayed up let's go